Today's training is going to be on the Encore and XL seat maintenance for troubleshooting and adjustments. What we're going to be doing is showing you how to adjust all the adjustment procedures and troubleshooting on the seats. Now we're going to talk about some of the specialty tools that you will need in the adjustment procedure and they are the the manufacturers of Thomas and Belts uh, Stacon, part number WT112M, which your dikes. This is what you're going to be using on your crimps just to hold them in place while you um, just to hold your, your crimps in place before you can get your crimpers on it. Then we're going to go to the uh, Sav Industries. These are going to be the MT185s. These are the new modified one. The T-185s are acceptable, but the MT-185 is recommended now because you will be able to access all of the crimps that are in the splitter. Also, you will need a set of Felco C7 cable cutters. That's something very important. And also something that I use myself, I found it easier to work with the cables, is a set of 6-inch uh, hemostats, a set of curved, and a set of straight. I carry them in my boxes at all times. Uh, they're just wonderful to have. When you get to the aircraft and you're having problems with it, you can pull up the seat pan, up the, the seat pad. Then we will take up the seat pan. And to do that, you remove the screws. After all the screws have been removed, you can lift up the seat pan, tape it up out of your way. Just don't get it in a, in a kink so you bend the seat pan. For the procedure for adjusting out the recline and the forward and aft and the side to side, if you are having problems with the recline, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to the splitter assembly. You need to find out which one is giving you the problem. It may only be one, it could be both of them, or it could be the hydrolock. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a procedure to check and see which one you're having problems with. You don't want to just come in and start adjusting. You need to find out what the problem is. So the first thing you need to do is you need to grab a partner. Usually there's someone in the airplane or someone around that you can grab to help you for a few minutes. i got a volunteer right here. Okay, today we're having problems with recline. It won't recline. They're having real bad problems with recline. So the first thing we need to do, we need to get a pair of needle nose pliers with a, with a helper. While the helper is pulling down on the recline and trying to, replace, trying to move the back, you come in here, track back on your conduit to find out which one goes to your pin and plates. Take a needle, pair of needle nose pliers and pull. And if that pulls and you can recline the seat, that's the only one you need to adjust. To adjust them, you need to break loose your lock nut, and then you can adjust it. Only go two to three turns at a time if you, it doesn't take a whole lot, and then test it again. When you get it to the point to where it goes ahead and reclines, that's as far as you need to go. Tighten up your locking nut. And that's all there is to it. Check it to make sure it works. And you can put the seat pan back down if that's all the problems you're having with the seat. Put all your bolts back in, put your pads back together, the customer's ready to go. The next procedure is if the chair will not go in the forward and aft position, and you're having problems, where you have to look at is you trace your cable down that comes out of your arm down to this position right here. This is the main cable that runs the forward and aft. It pulls this here till it goes forward and aft. And your cable adjustment is right here. Loosen these up. and pull your conduit back a little bit, tighten up your jam nut, 
and check and see if it works. If it works, that's as far as you need to go. You don't need any more adjustment as long as your chair goes forward and aft. If you're having problems and the main cable does not help you to go side to side, there's an adjustment right here in the front that goes to the main cable here for your side to side. You can adjust this cable through the screw right here, turn it a couple times and test it to see if it works. If it works, that's all the adjustments you need. Also, look and make sure that this screw head has not been pushed back where it's caught, like this here. If it is, and your chair will not stop sliding, you need to check that and push that back over. Then that'll stop your chairs from sliding. Now I'm going to show you how to replace the cable if you have the main cable break. Um, you can see here where the cable has broke. A lot of times you can take, if you have enough left, you can shove that cable back up in there and get it up out of the handle. You do not have to remove the handle to get that up out of there. Just work a little bit. And you can come up here to the handle and see where the cable has come up. And then you can pull your cable out. If your cable is not long enough to where you can't shove it back up in there, you can take a little eye hook and you can reach down to the side of the handle and you can grab a hold of the crimp and pull it up out of the slot that is made for this cable here. When you come up to the handle to put your cable back in, you have a spring. Make sure that spring is over your cable and you can feed it back down to the conduit. Okay, I've fed it down to the conduit. Pull your cable. And that's how you put your cable back in. Now we're gonna crimp it. We use a small crimp. You need to remove this screw here. And be careful because it is on a spring. That spring will take off and so will the screw. Now you can remove your old piece of cable. Slide your crimp on. And to get your crimp set to where you need it, use a pair of dykes. Only to crimp it enough to hold the crimp to where you can put your crimpers on it. They will not work to crimp it. All that does is just holds it tight to where you can come in here with your crimpers. Yep. Crimp it, rotate it 30 degrees, and crimp it again. That way you get a good crimp on it and it won't pull off the cable. Come in with your cable cutters, cut the cable, and now you can come back in there and put that back in your slot and put your screw back in.
the washer and the screw will hold that cable in your slot. Then you can check the chair to see if it goes side to side and forward and aft. If it does, that's the only adjustments you need to do. You need to come back in here and tighten up your jam nuts. Check the chair. You're ready to go. If you have the screw head on this cable right here that does not have a piece of aluminum tape on it, you need to take a piece of aluminum tape and cover that screw head so it does not rub that cable. Sometimes it gets removed in maintenance and stuff. You need to make sure that is replaced and this will keep that cable from chafing and breaking.